We are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. She didn't have taillights. So he walks up to her just to warn her that she didn't have taillights on. She was upset already. The moment he says, ma'am, I'm pull first she didn't want to pull over. And she felt that she didn't have to pull over. Blue lights and siren, that means you have to pull over. He's trying to talk to her about it calmly, but she's going, oh, why are you stopping me? And I, she was so agitated from zero to 100 already. He kept his demeanor, kept his calmness, but it shows you what we deal with on that aspect. Now, let's say it's another deputy or another officer from someplace else. Who doesn't want to take that attitude? He asked her to step out. She refuses to step out. Now it has to get hands on and things of that nature. That's not what we're trying to do. Only thing, only thing he was really trying to do is educate her to let her know that somebody could rear end you. You could get hurt. Somebody else could get hurt and so forth. It's one of those things, again, where you just see what goes on and how it escalates from zero to 100 really quick. And the split second decisions that we have to make. And that's tough sometimes, especially when you have a situation where as somebody has a weapon and we're trying to talk them down. Again, you're seeing it. You're seeing everything that goes on. Um, unfortunately, it does happen like that where an officer has to go hands on or do something that they don't really need or want to do. But it's because of what goes on in the community. So again, long story short, seeing everything as it happens helps you guys to understand what we deal with on a daily basis. Um, how we control that? is by our training. The thing that I go by first, and I'm sure Danny and uh, Kazupi agree, we use this first. This is first and foremost. And if that doesn't work, then we have to go to the next level. But again, I'll tell you what, I'll let Kazupi talk about something, maybe an incident that may have happened with him that he wants to share. Yeah, uh, what, what, what he said, I agree. <laughs> um, no, the, the show just shows everybody exactly what's going on out there i mean it's there's no there's no script to it there's no edits going on that's what it is you know we pull somebody over and they're angry about that that's what it is and it's nothing different from what we were facing you know a couple years ago the only difference now is this is on national television so it's really just a great opportunity for all of us to um put out there that we're not only here for the community but Sometimes the community doesn't necessarily want the help that we're providing. We still have to go to the call anyway. So it's been a, a good opportunity to really showcase that on a national level. Um, does anybody else have a, a question? That was a really good question. Yes. Can you speak up a little bit? Oh, yes. Uh, yes. yes. Uh, Lieutenant Brown with this one. All right. So. Live PD, <laughs> we started filming last September, I think, and about February they came up with the idea for the Live PD bingo cards. How many of y'all follow it on Twitter at all? Right? Twitter's getting to be this whole nother thing. So Live PD bingo, great question. And they've got a Live PD fantasy league, believe it or not. <laughs> so I'm not saying that I look at the bingo cards prior to Friday night, <laughs> but I do. Uh, <laughs> And the Fantasy League also is really cool because we didn't know that much about it. Started checking it on Twitter. And what they do is they look at who's on for that weekend, almost like a baseball team, and actually start drafting us into their teams. And they score us on what happens throughout the night. <laughs> I'm not saying who was the MVP for last season, but... I got a trophy. <laughs> Those cards have no bearing on what these deputies do out in the street. <laughs> I was trying to give our PIO a heart attack, see if he caught that. But yeah, actually, uh, we, we do our normal thing, and people watch at home. A couple of things we like about the bingo cards. We don't pay attention to them. It doesn't change what I say throughout the night. We just think it's funny to look at. Uh, but what it does is the families are getting together on Friday nights like you would see in the old days where we used to sit around and play Monopoly and everything else. Now they're actually, and we get pictures all the time of families sitting around playing live PD bingo. They're spending, and you figure that's three hours on Friday and Saturday nights where they're spending time together, which is awesome. Totally awesome. How many people saw the incident with uh, Katie and I where I was wrestling a guy, Jay Sack, where she got her arm injured? That, that right there is transparency word for word on what it means. We started out as a drug deal in progress at one of the local gas stations. We actually rolled up on it. 
and a gentleman bailed out and took off running on me and thanks to the live pd viewers they actually spotted the drugs fall down while we were wrestling katie's doing great i just wanted to bring her up deputy jsec because a lot of folks have been asking about her on social media sending us emails and stuff she's doing well her wrist was fractured but she's doing really well now in a small cast but that just goes to show you right off the bat when that incident went down is when her wrist got got fractured she still ran the entire block down to me where i was at and got back into the battle with me and helped me get the guy handcuffed so that just shows you the heart that she had coming back to me so it was awesome yes ma'am yeah very good question we get that one a lot as well she asked when one of our partners are getting hurt like that how do we control ourselves to where you don't overreact to it and the simple thing is our our county we say it all the time has our training is second to none we we train we train we train all the time and that's why you see our guys on the show hopefully we're presenting columbia and richland county in a positive light because we we won't take it to that level unless we need to and it, took, it takes a lot of strain, but you, your training kicks in and you get to the point where you're human. You still want to be able to, hey, you hurt my buddy, man. It, it's going down. <laughs> but you can't take it there because you still got a job to do. You get them cuffed up. And once they get cuffed up, then we worry about the aftermath and what happened to our partners. But it's just, it gets in there. We, we, he asked how much acting do we think because of their cameras. I can tell you from the beginning, last September we started filming. We had areas in town that the community asked us to go into a lot that were fairly busy. They were extremely busy on those nights. Friday and Saturday nights now we're having to go and handle other problems because we roll into some of these same places we did before and they're ghost towns. And I'm thinking it's probably because they're inside watching the show. <laughs> and so now we get to the point to where we do see some of this where folks will come up around the cameras. They will actually drive by yelling, where's Kevin Lawrence at? Or they'll start acting just to get on TV. And when we see that, we're able to pick up on it pretty quick and kind of zone off onto something else and not, not just because they're acting for the cameras. There was the incident with the baby. How many of y'all saw that episode? It's crazy, right? Guy, and this is how it goes down. Complaint of a loud, uh, the loud music party going on, disturbance in the neighborhood, and shots fired. So the deputies get to that neighborhood and they get close to the area before they actually go to the house. And the reason why is when shots are fired, they have to use caution. So they want to meet up, make sure they have enough deputies to actually go to this house. When they get there, this vehicle takes off high speed. We don't know who's in the car. We don't know what's happening. This car takes off, flies down the road, high, high rate of speed. And then uh, Mastriani, Chris Mastriani, Deputy Mastriani, goes after the vehicle to uh, get him to stop. Because we don't know if that's the person who was firing shots or if they're involved in what may have taken place. Guy doesn't stop. He eventually flips the vehicle over, grabs the baby out, which is his child, and takes off. Now Mastriani has a decision to make. Does he stop this guy? because he's holding his child or let him run and chase him until he stops well his decision at that moment was to go ahead and get this guy and stop him right there he's holding the child and, and Mastriani's words were I'm trying to get this guy to stop and not hurt the child at the same time which is a tough thing to do if you put yourself in that situation it's 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 really it's it was just a it's one of those things like we're talking about going zero to 100 in just a matter of moments and trying to keep the baby safe, but again, arrest this guy for what he was running from. And the whole thing ended up where the baby broke, had fractured the arm when the guy, uh, I guess, fell down to the ground. Baby goes to the hospital. Baby's doing fine. Dad's doing OK. Just, of course, has all these charges on him now. He ran because what? He thought he had a warrant. Found out he had zero warrants. Ran for no reason at all. The incident at the house pretty much didn't get resolved because of that situation and because Mastriani was on the ground fighting with this guy. But the scary part was of this situation was with Mastriani asking for help because he wanted to make sure that the baby wasn't in the roadway when the cars would come, when the deputies were coming because he was asking for help. So when you heard him asking for help, that's what he was saying. Get the, he wanted to get the child out, out of the way of harm's way. Camera guys for Live PD didn't intervene and help because that's not their job and their job is to stay hands off and not and get involved because I'm sure you're probably saying why is he still filming when he's wrestling with this guy you know but that was that's their job is just to get it as it's happening the scary part was when Mastrani is holding this guy on the ground the guy has a free hand reaches in his pocket you saw that 
Who knew what this guy was going to take out that pocket? Could have been a knife, could have been a gun, could have been anything to harm the deputy. Thank goodness it was just drugs that he was just trying to swallow. But those are the things that we have to deal with, which is crazy. It's that split. We have to make decisions that are really tough. And a lot of people say, oh, you guys are trained for that. But again, what we do for you guys, for the citizens, we let you guys come through a mini training with us. Our, we do a, an academy that we go through. So we do a shorter academy for citizens, which we will teach you how to fire a weapon safely. We won't just give it to you. We will, we're going to train you. We'll teach you how to fire a weapon. We'll let you go through our PT course to see how you can handle that. We'll put you through a stress course, which means after you go through a certain thing that we have you do, then you'll have to answer a call. It could be a domestic where two people are fighting. It could be somebody, a suspicious vehicle in a neighborhood and somebody sitting in there, and you have to react to it. We invite the media to do it twice a year, and they come through it. So they get to see what we deal with and the decisions that we have to make. Because a lot of people get upset at what we do. But when you put yourself in our shoes and you go through it in just that course, then you have a different perspective of what we do. So anytime you guys want to come through our academy, give me a call. I'm real easy to find um, on the website, rcsd.net. You went through it, right? He went through it. Yes, he did. He sure did. How was it for you? Oh, no, no. You, you get tased if you want to. Is it, that's a choice. <laughs> we, <laughs> part of that, too, is if you want to feel what it's like to be tased, you can. We all have to be tased. And the reason why we get tased is so that we know what you're going to feel, what you're going to deal with. If I'm a criminal and the officer tells me to do something, I'm going to listen, especially because I know what it feels like to be tased, which is a crazy thing. But I was, I was on my way to something until I got to that part. Crap. Um, but anyway, we, you, we invite you guys to come. RCSD.net, you'll find me. And of course, you guys can make sure that you uh, sign up with it. And I'll tell you when you call me up and say you want to do it, I'll put you on there as well. Kevin Lawrence finally made it here. Give it up for Kevin Lawrence. So, real quick, also on, also on traffic stops, too, real quick, because a lot of folks saying how they think that we're profiling, especially when we're on live PD, because we're stopping cars, and they're like, there's always an African-American, guys. You guys always messing with them. You always... Okay, let me ask you this. Nine, ten o'clock at night, there's a vehicle. Can we tell who's in that car? We can't tell who's in They're stopping them for a traffic violation, whether it's because it's speeding, tag light out it's something with that car that brings them to their attention or it could be a car when it goes by i don't know you guys probably some of you some of you may know what marijuana smells like but when when a car passes by it has such a strong distinct smell and these guys have really good noses especially this one right here and they're gonna they'll, they'll pull that car um it's, it's, it's one of those things, again, if you are doing something that you shouldn't be doing, whether it's speeding or you're driving with expired tags or whatever the case may be, you're bringing the attention to these guys, which then they pull the vehicle. So it's not like they're looking for African Americans in certain areas and neighborhoods. It's what's going on. It's actually what's happening. Some of you may still disagree with what I'm saying, but if you do, please raise your hand and we'll talk about that real quick before we get started. Okay. All right. K-Law, since Kevin is here, I'm going to let Kevin talk about uh, what goes on with Live PD and him and, and his experience doing the whole thing. Kevin Lawrence. Thank you. Good Sunday afternoon, everybody. Thank you guys for coming out to hear what we have to say and listen to our judging. Um, Live PD has actually been a great experience for us. Uh, versus in the past where you see the local news where you actually have part three why we arrested somebody now you actually have the meat and potatoes you have part one part two and part three it actually shows what we do on a daily basis some of the people that we deal with and some of the things that happen in your own backyard that you may have had a blind eye to so it's opened up a lot of people's eyes um, and it's kind of put law enforcement back in the way where we were in the past where people are starting to respect us again and they actually see us and value us and uh, we just appreciate the thanks and all the support we get from the community. And thank you guys once again. Let's give a big round of applause to our Richland County Sheriff's Department. Thank you for your service, gentlemen. Hello, everyone. I'm Jennifer Epting. I'm one of the co-founders of Soda City Comic Con. I hope you guys are having a great time tonight. Tell me if you are. You're not. Happy? This is your first Comic Con. First Comic Con, we got some we got some veterans in the crowd. Awesome, awesome. That's great. We're glad you're here. We're going to start the cosplay contest in just a minute. We have a record number of contestants. We have 79 contestants. 
It's a lot of contestants. What they will do is walk up on the stage, pause for about the count of five or ten, walk off the stage, and come right here. That's our plan. Of course, as you know, all good plans don't go as planned. So we will do our best to get them all up here through so the judges can make their decisions. The judges will be scoring each of them based on their creativity, their originality, their craftsmanship, and it'll be uh, scored based on that. Okay, the judges have all the, in the details and uh, notes that you put on your application that uh, you submitted today. So they have all those handwritten notes that you submitted. Um, after that, we have a first, second, and third place prize, which has the bags over here with gift cards from Second and Charles, t-shirts, swag from all over the, all the TV stations. There's a lot of little Cersei's in there for first, second, and third. And we do have participation prizes for all the other contestants. So before you leave, we would like a group picture for, uh, for you, okay, of all of our contestants. All right, I'm going to hand this over to Lieutenant Curtis Wilson. <laughs> He is in the charge of the show. <laughs> no, you guys are in charge. Now, I love the Bing Bang Theory, but I'm sure I'm not going to be able to know every single contestant's costume that comes through, so you guys are going to have to help me on that part, but we're going to do our best. Now, I know we still have a lot of folks uh, standing. If there's some seats available, can you guys put your hands up so folks who want to get a seat? You know, see, there's, there's lots of seats available. Come on, have a seat. There's like 79 contestants. That's a long time. You might want to grab a seat. All right. Here's, some, here's a seat here. See here. Come on down, folks. Do you see where the hands are up? Those are where you got some, have some empty seats if you want to take a seat. Okay. All right. So the City Comic Con Children's Cosplay, and it is time to get rolling. So do me a favor. These guys have been out there lined up ready for this. Put your hands together. Make some noise. Let them know that you're ready and excited and fired up for this one. Here you go. And our first contestant, Hannah Jordan, Lucy Hartfilia. And I know I may mess up some names, but if uh, you can holler it out and correct me if you want to. Got that one. Annika Elliers. Listen to Godzilla. The judges are going to have a tough time with all these contestants. Aiden Grabsky, Ruby Rose. Hold up, that looks, that looks like a Darth Vader, don't it? Wait, wait, is that, is that Ruby Rose? <laughs> Nathan Lore, Aquabat. Oh, he's not here, not here, okay. How about David Hummer, Flash. Not here. He, oh, he went by already. That was quick. That was, flash, flash was really quick. <laughs> Tyler. Tyler. How about Trey? Come on, Trey Weaver. Tape face. <laughs> He's on Facebook Live. CJ Weber, call Grimes. <laughs> Samia Cooper, Marceline. Ah, <laughs> everybody say ah.
Noah Weir, Spider-Man. Friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. <laughs> Trey Underwood, Han Solo. Elisa Cromer, Hermoyne Granger. <laughs> Emmy Miano and Adri Adriana Webb. Garrison Trio from Voltron. And Georgia Rice. Calvin Sterick Brown, Vault Boy. <laughs> Noah Kitchens, Benny Fallout, New Vegas. <laughs> Number 19, Amelia Sexton. Mikasa Ackerman, Attack on Titans. Did I say that right? Mikasa. <laughs> Mikasa. Mikasa Sukasa. You close? I don't know. Brooke Bailey, number eight. Check that number 20. Brooke Bailey, Hermoyne. That's what I said, Hermione. <laughs> Kyan Jackson, Red X Teen Titan. Adriana Kaplan, Poison Ivy. <laughs> Let me see you do the flip that she does. Do the, no, no, just. <laughs> CO Rain, Coraline. <laughs> Italia Calazzo, number 26, Honey from Duran Host Club. <laughs> Alina Calazzo and Cole Damood, Natsu in Fairy Tale and Full Buster. <laughs> Nicole Farrell, number 29. Najiza Haichs. Nagiza. Sadie Wishes and Sophie Smith. Number 30, Kayla Wren and Ray. Kyla Wren. Stop in the middle. Just stop in the middle so that they can get a shot of you real quick. No, no, not the end. Come back to the middle. To the middle. There you go. That's number 31, Gabriel Gratero, Green Arrow. 
Number 32, Amir Moreno. Ken, Ken, that's what I said. He's Ken Kaneki. <laughs> Is it both of them? <laughs> okay. Here we go. 33, Alyssa Shoppinger with Mark Shoppinger, Walking Dead Zombie Girl with Rick Grimes. <laughs> <laughs> Number 34, Paige Cantrell, Laura Croft. Number 35, Stevie Ballard, Hogwarts student. Number 35, Stevie Ballard. 36, Jacob Thompson, Sands the Skeleton. <laughs> 37, Emma Thompson, Harley Quinn. Number 38, Lydia Duquette, Wi-Fi. <laughs> Number 39, Gabby Mason, Jinx, dressed up as Pikachu. Stop in the middle, stop in the middle, stop in the middle. Number 40, Marilyn Burtok, Kylie from Firefly. Kaylee? That's Kaylee from Firefly. 41, Alicia Ross, six from Little Nightmares. <laughs> Number 42, Reese Tankersley, Call of Duty. Number 43, Gage Tankersley, Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> Arden and Sage Hughes, Ariel and Rapunzel, Jedi. Number 45, Lola Barwick, Jesse Quick. <laughs> 45, Lola Barwick, Jesse Quick. 46, Kyari Barwick, Evie. Oh. 
47, Galley and Link Williams. They are Summer and Morty Smith from Rick and Morty Cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> Number 48, William Parsons. <laughs> William says, I am Batman. <laughs> Channing Duke, number 49, Scorpion. <laughs> That's Scorpion. Number 50, Megan Trow, Madoka. Okay. Number 51, Theron Sharar. This is your Ninja Turtle. Number 52, Orion Miller, PJ Masks. How about 53, Reese Blevins, Snow White. Ninja Turtle said, I'm not done. <laughs> That was Snow White, 53. 54, Izzy Blevins. For every Batman, there's gotta be Batgirl. <laughs> 55, Fear Frick, Freddy Fazbear, or Fazbear. <laughs> Fifty-eight, Emma Bird, Attack on Titan. Watch out, fellas, she's armed. She's <laughs> Fifty-nine, Taryn Neville, Rose Quartz. We have seen some great costumes, I tell you what. Give it up for those you've seen thus so far, because they're awesome. They're looking so good. These guys got a tough job. Tough job. Number 60, Katherine Kelly. Aquamarine. Number 61, Sydney Pettis. Boys in Ivy. Sixty-two, Ashlyn Cox, she's a zombie. <laughs> Abby Rizzo, number sixty-four, female Harry Potter. We'll call her Hillary Potter. <laughs> 65, Juliana Alteri. Mia? Marka. 
Marka Alban. 66 is Libby Williams. Anna of Arendelle. No, not you. That's not you. What number are you? Libby Williams. An you're not Anna of uh, who, who? You, you're, you're who? <laughs> Hermione Granger. Hermione Granger. Thank you. <laughs> Don't put a spell on me. I was only reading the chart. That was just, I was just reading the chart, Hermione. That's all. That's all. She said, "Get it right, Curtis." Did you see her face? She said, "You get this right, Curtis." Hold up. What, what number are you? <laughs> 67, Lucy Williams. Huh? Anna of Edendale. Anna. <laughs> she, <laughs> she looked at me and says, I'm Anna. <laughs> 68, Trista Montgomery. Trista is Moon Girl. <laughs> 69 is Sophia Kelly, Cameron Kirby, and Callie Lloyd. Together, they are Gravity Falls Trio. <laughs> 70, Allie Bernard. Allie is Budgie. Wait, wait. Seventy-one, Ellie Roman, Amani Macano, Sims. <laughs> Seventy-two, Isabel Killian, Sambra from Overwatch. <laughs> 73, Ophelia Foster. <laughs> 74, Jonathan Kane. Jonathan is Robin. Number 75, Grayson Shipman, The Flash. <laughs> now what y'all didn't see was that was five flips in a row. He just, he was just so fast, he was just so fast. 76, Matthew Wilson, Spider-Man. Seventy-seven, Zachary Vereen and Aiden Houghton. Who, who, how you say your last name? Houghton. Koopalines. Seventy-eight, Scott Dillon. Scott is a Jedi. Arius crumbles. Eris, the distorn. It just says the distor the distortionist. 
Eris, distortionist. Number 79. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a rousing round. Of, we got another one? Who we got? Who we got? A rousing round of applause for all our contestants. <laughs> Judges, you'll work your numbers. What we're going to do is have them come back through and line up in front. All right, we're going to have all the contestants come back through up on stage and line up right into the front. You ready, guys? We'll start with number, the first contestant. I believe it was number five. Number three. Here they come through. Give them a big old hand as they do. Let them hear it. They put their hearts into their costumes to come here for cosplay 2017. Soda City Comic Con, Columbia, South Carolina. Look at them as they come through. Great job. Looking good. Each and every one of you are winners. Where you going, Spider-Man? You got lost, Spider-Man. That way, yeah, there you go. <laughs> Keep making noise for these awesome youngsters who came to let you see their artistic creativity. Aren't they cute? Aren't they adorable? I think the Ninja Turtle has something to say. And there are your 2017 Soda City Comic Con cosplay contestants. Now the judges will work out their scores. We're gonna find out who's gonna win first, second, and third, but as you know, they're all winners and they're all gonna receive a special prize as well. All right. And I also noticed we have some who have costumes in here that weren't part of it. If you have any costumes and you weren't part of it, like, what's that one right there with the hat and the big eyeball? What's that one? What's, what's that? What's, what's, what's that called? Mike who? Is it resident? Oh, the resident. Oh, the bomb. Oh, from resident. And he's the bomb. He's, he's mom? What? He's a the bomb. <laughs> come come here, come here, come here, residence bomb, mom. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Looking cool. Give give him a hand as he comes through. That is that's a cool outfit. I like this thing. All right. Tell, tell me tell me about this here. I'm the president of the Cryptic Corporation, Bob. He's the president of the cryptic corporation, Bob. Right? Bob. 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 I spelled backwards, Bob. <laughs> spelled, spelled backwards, Bob. Thank you very much. Give him a hand. Looking good. Thank you so much. All right. Who else? Who else do we have that came up in? I mean, that was here and didn't and wasn't in a. Come on. Somebody else has a costume on that didn't participate. I want to see you. Where you at? So come on. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Come here, come here. Come over, come over on this side, come over on this side. Oh, you, you too. What, what's it? Didn't I see somebody else? Now, you are who? Tell me who you are. The vision. The, the vegan? The vision. You don't eat me. The vegan. The vision. The vegan. Vision. The vi oh, the vision. The vision? Yes, sir. Okay. Whoa, this is some tough stuff. <laughs> it's the vision right here. Glad to have you here. And you are? The Joker. The Joker. Got that one pretty easy. It's the Joker. Good to see you out here as well. Looking good. Who else do we have? Who else do we have that we hadn't seen? Come on, come on, come here. <laughs> You're looking so cute. Now, and you are? Vaporeon from Pokemon. Oh, say it again. Vaporeon from Pokemon. Vaporeon from Pokemon. Vaporeon. Oh, Vaporeon. <laughs> yeah, that. I am learning stuff today. Vaporeon from Pokemon. Thank you for being here. Thank you. All right, where's Pikachu? Where's Piki? We got Pikachu here somewhere. There you go. And you are? R2D2. R2D2. R Let me hear what, how R2D2 sounds. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank, oh, and you are? A trash bag. A trash bag. No, you can't be with a shepherd. There are shepherdy. I can't even talk now. You got that badge on right there. So you, you're, you're a trash bag, but you look great. And you also protected folks with your junior deputy badge. <laughs> you're so cute. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Who do we have over here? Hello, I'm Ambo. Yeah, Ambo? Ambo. Tell me who Ambo is. <laughs> Ambo. Who is Ambo? Never mind. Anybody know who Ambo is? It's Ambo. Who's Ambo? Is she an OC? With who? Oh, that's your name. Yeah. What? I thought it was. I, have I thought it was. Accent and I can't say it. Right. Got you. But you're Pikachu. Yeah. But your name is Ambo. Ambo. Am Amber. Yeah. Amber, give me a hug. This is Amber. <laughs> give Amber a big old hug as she is Pikachu. I also can do his. Oh, she can do, she can do Pikachu's voice. Pika, Pika. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right, let me see who we have here. Peyton. You're who? Peyton. Peyton, and tell me about the costume. I'm Bat Girl. She's Bat Girl. Thank you so much. Looking really cool there, too. Thank you. And you are? I'm Rainbow Dash from My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Ah. Looking great as well. How about you, sir? Uh, no introduction. Everybody knows who I am. Negan. Woo! Come on. Hold up, so hold up. That must be a bad character. Uh, only for most. Only for most? Come on, guys. I only, ki I only killed off two characters. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. And you are? The other mother from Coraline. Oh, the other mother from Coraline. Outstanding. Looking nice and cute as well. Thank you for being here. How about you? I'm Enzo from Assassin's Creed. Ah, look at that. Let me see. Pretty cool. So you're pretty good at the game? Yeah. All right. There you go. And next, who do we have right here? Um, character or name? Well, give me your name first and give me your character. Okay. I'm Britton, and the character that I am is Diane Madeline. Now, tell me about this character, Diane Madeline. Um, she's from a comic book I'm working on. You're working on a comic book? Yes, sir. Illustrator, creative, and all that type of stuff, huh? Yes, sir. Now tell me about this. Is she a villain? Is she really good? What does she do? Um, uh, stereotypical protects the universe sort of crap. Protects the universe type of stuff. <laughs> and when can we expect this comic book to be out? Um, hopefully by next Comic-Con. All right, you'll have it here, right? Maybe. We hope so. Thank you so much. Appreciate you, too. How can people follow you and find your comic book? Um, I don't know. I'll let you know. She'll let us know. She'll, she'll find us. How about you? Tell me about you. My name's Olivia, and I'm a doll. You're a doll. You are a doll. I like that. What's your doll's name? Um, it doesn't really have a name. Oh, just a doll. Thank you so much. We appreciate you, Olivia. Who do you have? Oh, hi, hi there. How are you? Good, and you? I am well. Tell me First, tell me your name. My name's Anna. And where are you from? Uh, Camden, South Carolina. She had to think about that. When they go, um, we as law enforcement be like, mm, she's probably not really from there. No, but, but so. Military. <laughs> Got you, military. So, so who are you today? I'm the character Diva from the game Overwatch. Ah, tell me. Oh, we got some Overwatch fans out here. 
There you go. Who are some other characters from Overwatch? Um, there's Sombra. She was actually in the cosplay contest. There's also Junkrat, who I saw here. There's a Soldier 76. Um, there's a Winston, which is like a monkey. Um, I was only asking for some, but woo! <laughs> no, you're good. Give it up for her. Thank you so much. You look great, too. What's up, sir? Hey. All right, tell me who you are. I've seen this character in the video game, but you tell me who you are. Gohan. Gohan. Tell me about Gohan. Got some Gohan fans. Look at that. Tell me about Gohan. Gohan is uh, the son of Goku, and he's the one who defeated Cell in the Cell Saga. And, and they know how to fight. He knows how to fight really well. Oh, yeah. All right, so you got to give me a fight pose. Uh, give me a fight pose for the camera. <laughs> Thank you much. Go ahead over here. And you are? I am Quicksilver from the X-Men. The, the better Quicksilver. The better Quicksilver. Tell me about the other Quicksilver. Why, why are you the better Quicksilver? He's dead and not cool, so whatever. <laughs> You're taking over. Yeah, I am the better Quicksilver. Of, of the two of them, this one is definitely the coolest one. Why is it, why is it the coolest one? He's just got so much charisma. I mean, have you ever seen the X-Men? I have, and I've seen the Quicksilver guy. Yeah. He's got the surfboard, right? Uh, is it a surfboard? Silver, silver, silver. Oh, that silver server. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I told you, I'm learning. I'm learning. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, She's like, I don't want to talk to you no more, Curtis. I'm done with you. Thank you so much. You do look great. Quicksilver. Thank you very much. Yes, Appreciate sir. You. All right. Spider Man. Hey, everyone. We, hey, everyone. How are you? I'm good. You know, got to get my suit back and stuff. That's right. Because, let me see, you got to get the new suit from who? Tony, you know, he's a great guy and all. Don't tell him, don't tell him I'm spreading bad rumors. Out of who? All right. Good deal. Thank you so much. Actually, I was asking you to leave. I was going, no, you, you seen this in the movie, right? Remember the movie? He was reaching for the door. That you thought he was getting a hug. Same thing here. You great guy. Thank you, Spider. You left me hanging. <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? What's your name? My name's Storm. Storm? Yes. And Storm from what? Oh, no, I'm, I'm, my name really is Storm. Oh, your real name's Storm? I'm Link from Legend of Zelda. Link from who? Legend of Zelda. Ah, oh, got you. Good deal. I like this. Turn around. Let them see the whole thing. Turn around. Let them see the whole thing. You went all out for this one. Yes, I did. Now, do you? Is, this is the third year for Comic-Con. Have you been here all three years? This is my first year here. First year here? Yeah, fourth con, first year here. What did you like the most about it? I like the people. There's a, real, a lot of nice people here, and there's a lot of good action figures and uh, comic books as well, so I really like everything that's going on here. Are you going to come back next year? Definitely, yeah. All right, appreciate you. Thank you so much. You. See you later, Storm. This is his real name, Storm. Hey, how are you? Pretty good. And what's your name? I'm Melissa Jones. Melissa Jones, and who are you? I'm Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Face this way so they can see Ratchet from Ratchet and Clank. Turn around, give him the whole look, give him the whole look. There you go. <laughs> There we go. Thank you. I appreciate you being here as well, okay? You too. Thank you. She's in character, right? All in character. Oh, man, that's pretty cool. All right, so in moments, we're going to figure out who's going to win. I'm sure you guys have your favorites. But again, they all did a fabulous job. Am I right? All our contestants were awesome. So in moments, we'll figure this out. So let me see. Who came the furthest? Who came the furthest to be here today? Anybody? Furthest. Who, who, who came from, like, far away? Like, where? It's from, are you from, from, from Irmo? From Irmo? Anybody be Irmo? <laughs> where you from? Where you from? Irmo. Irmo. We got Irmo over here. Where, where you from? North Carolina. Anybody? Albemarle, North Carolina. Can anybody beat that? Charlotte, what's further? You're further. Two and a half hours. Anybody further than that? Anybody further than two and a half hours? From Texas? Do you escape that hurricane and all that? Houston. Ooh, yeah, that's a lot. You're getting a lot of rain. Houston. Where? From Raleigh, North Carolina. We thank y'all for being here from Raleigh. They're from Raleigh. Anybody else? Houston? Where? From the moon? Did you catch that eclipse the other day? It is tough when you're standing on the moon to catch that eclipse. But that was awesome. It was so beautiful. It was so nice. It was really nice. All right, so hold up a second. Let me see. We got some from... Where's Houston? Houston. Houston. Oh, you 
Come on, I got some, uh, I have um, some Chick-fil-A cards for you. And then, hold up, where's Raleigh? Hold up, right, Raleigh? Raleigh? Albemarle, North Carolina. Come here, North Carolina. Give you a Chick-fil-A card there, there you go. All right. Now, while they're doing what they do, I want to do something that's kind of like called um, Battle of the Sexes. But we're going to do this a little different. What do I have? Oh, I got a Bojangles card here. I need, I need a, a young man and a young lady. <clears throat> All right, depending on age. See, I got the kids in a contest. No, have a seat, have a seat, have a seat. Hang on a sec, hang on a sec. Because we have the kids in a contest, so I'm going to go with, I'll go with you since you're standing right here. And then I need, I need a... I need a guy, I need a guy now. I need a guy, I need a guy. Why are you pointing to him? <laughs> come here, sir, come here, sir. Come here, come here, come here. All right. You got a, you got a second hand at all? Uh, yeah, you I, can, I, I can make it. Okay. All right, so you'll be right here. What's your name? Christina. 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 Oh. You're right here. It'll be you, but you can, okay. yeah. What's your name? Shaw. Shaw. Yeah. Okay, we got Christina and Shaw. Now, this is what's going to happen here. This is called Ballad of Sexes. You'll have like 15 seconds on the clock. You're going to have to name as many items as you can without saying the word um. I'm going to give you a category or topic, and you just roll through it, okay? All right. So, here it is. Like... If I was to say, name things you find in a trunk of a car, you'll start naming things that's in that trunk, but you can't say um, and you keep going until he says stop, okay? That's it. All right, so who should go first, should, since this is the Battle of the Sexes? Should ladies go first? Or should the guys go first? Okay, here we go. 15 seconds for you, Miss Krista. What I need you to do, and you guys can't shout out anything. You can't help them. You can't help. 15 seconds. What I need you to do, name things you find. I'll make this kind of sort of fair. Things you find in a toolbox. Things you find in a toolbox. 15 seconds. Go. Wrench, hammer, nails, pipes, nuts, lug nuts. Nails, screws. Uh. Oh, you were almost there. You had like a second left. All right, but he has to go, all right? And you had like nine until you get to yum. So come over here a sec. All right, so 15 seconds. What I need you to do, name things you find in a beauty salon. Things you find in a beauty salon. 15 seconds. Don't say um, go. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Shampoo, combs, hairbrush, chairs. Uh, <laughs> oh! They both set up. Give them both a big hand. Here you go, here you go. I'm going to give you this one. Hang on, I got one for you too, Miss Krista. Come here, Miss Krista. Yeah. Curtis, we're going to call all the contestants back from the stage and announce first, second, and third. Okay. Oh, thank you. All right, so all the contestants, please come on back to the stage. All the contestants, let's come back to the stage, and we're going to call out first, second, and third. We're going to fill it in. Fill in the stage. All right. Now, I want to let all the contestants know that you will all get a participation prize for being here. And it is compliments of Second and Charles. It's a bag that has all kinds of great stuff in it. You're going to love it. So when you exit off the stage, contestants, you'll go that way so that you can pick up your prize. All right? And while we're at it right here, let's give our judges a big hand for doing what they did because that's a tough task. Thank you so much. Danny Brown, Kazupi, Lawrence, we appreciate you guys.
All right. So what I need you guys to do right now, since you have all of these contestants on the stage, show them how much love you have for them for doing what they did here at Cosplay 2017. Let's give them a big hand. Looking good. All right. We'll start with third place first. Cosplay 2017, Soda City Comic Con. Third place goes to number 75, The Flash, Grayson Shipman. Where's The Flash? Come on out of here, Flash. <laughs> He's coming over here, Flash. That's third place. <laughs> Second place goes to number 44, Jedi Ariel and Jedi Rapunzel. And now it is time for first place. DJ, where's my drum roll? Okay. <laughs> Contestants are giving me the drum roll. Here we go. First place goes to number 17, Volt Boy, Calvin Brown. Take my signal. Congratulations to all of the contestants and our first, second, and third. And don't forget, can we get a picture of first, second, and third together? Yes. First, second, and third place, can you come down? Contestants, stay on the stage. Mm -hmm. Go down that way just a little bit. Mm -hmm. There they go. We'll get a, a picture. And don't forget, contestants, when you exit, you're going to exit stage right and pick up your uh, participation prize for doing what you did with cosplay. So hold tight. They're getting the pictures. Deputy's going to get behind you guys. USC, USC. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I get carried away sometimes, you know. <laughs> I got to say, each and every contestant looked good, and we thank you so much. You guys were awesome. Appreciate it. All right, thank you much. Don't forget, contestants, when you exit the stage, make sure you pick up your participation bag as well and thank you all for coming out to 2017 soda city comic con